More than 57 million pounds of PPE and other COVID-related products have polluted the oceans since the start of the pandemic. The new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences Journal finds 193 countries have generated about 8.3 million tons of plastic waste associated with COVID. This includes discarded masks, gloves, and other protective items. Researchers say nearly three quarters of COVID-related waste in the oceans came from hospitals. Joining us now is Professor Amina troeri Shartup. She's an assistant professor at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego. Professor Shartup, welcome. Great to have you with us. So, First off, what sorts of problems does this tremendous amount of plastic pollution create for our oceans and marine life? Hi, Tanya. Thank you for having me here. Uh, before I answer your question, I wanted to thank uh, Iming Pong and Pai Pei Wu, who are the students who did the work under the supervision of Professor Yang Xu Zhang. And I'm just here to be the spokesperson for the amazing work that they did. Uh, plastic waste uh, is... Um, an issue because it will uh, it can cause physical damage to animals in the wild. We've seen videos of entanglements and various other consequences of accumulating in stomachs so of various species of uh, marine mammals. But it also breaks down into smaller pieces, and we see uh, um, the leaking of chemicals that are used to coat those plastics, potentially causing other types of uh, health impacts for wildlife. And of course humans who eventually consume some of this wildlife. Now, has this study been able to pinpoint exactly where most of this waste is coming from? I understand from hospitals, but from which regions of the world? Right, so uh, this is actually a kind of a three-pronged problem. We have one, areas that have really high uh, a, a population of uh, COVID illnesses, as well as individuals who end up uh, being hospitalized, which require more use of uh, PPE uh, by medical professionals to pre protect themselves and, of course, other patients. So areas with large uh, COVID, a number of COVID cases. Two, it's also areas that have difficulty of managing their waste uh, before the pandemic that have been taken by surprise by this increased amounts of waste generated by that uh, uh, PPE usage. And three, areas that have uh, hydrological conditions that allow that mismanaged portion of the waste to be rapidly moved out of the land into the oceans. So these are large, very energetic uh, rivers in Asia, and this is one of the reasons why in our calculation, uh, Asia uh, region is uh, one of the ones that produces the most of that uh, mismanaged plastic waste. And so now that this great uh, you know, research has been done and we know all this, how can we reduce the amount of COVID associated waste we're generating? You know, obviously it seems like you want to chip away from the largest amount. So how do we get to the officials running these hospitals? How do we, you know, sort of stop the problem at the origin? Yes, yeah, so here uh, our uh, job with the study was to really pinpoint the areas that require most of the attention. So it's uh, one of the, 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 the missing kind of piece was uh, what are the hotspots for uh, production of those mismanaged waste. And from there on, once we identified those hotspot region, uh, experts of waste management and, uh, and a, a medical um, handling of those medical supplies, are, uh, we're hoping that they will be able to take on that uh, quite substantial challenge. Absolutely. It seems like time of, is of the essence here. Now, the study says that packaging materials make up nearly 5% of the plastic waste that ends up in the waterways uh, since the start of the pandemic. Do you believe that we might see even more of a spike of this kind of pollution over the coming months as we know we enter the holiday season, but people continue to do more and more shopping online, et cetera? Yes, actually, this is one of the area where I, I feel like as individuals, we can really make a difference and be really deliberate about the way we do our shopping. I understand that since the pandemic started and the need to have things delivered at home instead of going to uh, areas, but we really need to think very carefully about how we ordering it and pressure our, uh, not only our government official, but also our, our stores and people who are selling things to us to really reduce the amount of plastics. I'm always surprised how much layers and layers of plastics I receive whenever I order something from the store and maybe 
um, mentioning it to, to the stores about, well, maybe you should reduce the amount of plastic you're sending to my home. Right. I, I agree with you 100 percent. Um, so researchers predict that this pollution will have a, quote, long lasting impact on ocean ecosystems, which we know are already under a lot of stress. Uh, is there a way that, you know, countries can reduce this impact? It's really hard to say that our individual actions will have enough of an impact. How can countries uh, do the right thing here? That, that's correct. The individual's action always only part of the of the issue. Of course, we can do it at home, but we can also pressure as individuals. It's kind of a vicious cycle of who is really uh, putting the, the, the emphasis on 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 uh, providing the plastic that we receive. We are at the end the consumer. Of course, we can't do all the changes. Yes, government action is, is necessary to, to, to reduce the amount of plastics that we uh, produce and release. Uh, there, um, I think understanding the magnitude of the problem is definitely, and accepting it is the first step, and coming up with innovative approaches to reduce the plastic waste um, is, um, is something that is going to be a pretty grand challenge for the next few years. And does the study look ahead and have any predictions as to whether the growth of this, you know, pandemic affiliated plastic waste will diminish as we move out of the global epidemic? Or, you know, does the study think this is a problem that will be with us for some time? We, we, we think that the, the plastic that has been mismanaged and released into the environment right now, we're just seeing a portion of it making it to the oceans because it takes time before it gets out to the oceans. So we expect it to continue to increase for a little while before it starts getting buried in, in, the, in the sediment as well as in, in, the, in the beaches. All right. Well, um, in the long term, it's going to be taken over by the fact that we are still producing an increasing number of plastic. Uh, including pre-pandemic. Right, that's what's so, so alarming. So we don't think that the issue will... Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, I was saying that we don't think that the issue overall is going to be declining because we've been producing increasingly larger amounts of plastic since the 1950s when we first introduced them into the general population. Absolutely. It was a problem before the pandemic, and now it's a worse problem. All right, well, Professor Amina Shardup, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Tanya.